Hi there, my name is Caio Giacomini and I'll be demonstrating how I use WIGS to implement my sound redesign of Unity's 2D Game Kit boss fight level. Starting with the player character sounds, her footsteps were implemented using animation events. To achieve that, I wrote a custom script with a public method that takes in a string as an argument and passes that to the akSoundEngine.postEvent function to play a WISE event. This allows the script to be reusable as I can define the WISE event name in the inspector when creating an animation event. The same method was used to implement the jump sound. The rest of the player character sounds were implemented via scripting inside the player character class, again using the akSoundEngine.postEvent function. This includes sounds for the player landing on the ground, taking damage, dying, as well as for the player's gun, and melee attacks. In WISE, these sounds are played back to random containers, making use of pitch randomization as well as layer separation to counter listener fatigue. One example being the health pickup sound effect. The sound of the chest crashing is in a separate random container than the sound of the particle effect surging up. This allows WISE to randomize these layers independently, creating a larger number of variations during runtime. For the boss cutscene, I reused the animation event script I wrote to synchronize the sounds. An unexpected challenge when implementing the boss sounds were its footsteps. The boss is able to walk both forwards and backwards, but there is only one walk animation. Digging into the animator revealed that the backwards walk animation was done by playing the walk cycle in reverse, with a speed of negative 1. Because of this, if I simply just created animation events for the footsteps, they would be out of sync when the animation played backwards. The solution I found was to duplicate the boss footstep sound objects and its corresponding events in WIGS into a version that would play when the boss walks forward, and another that would play when it's walking in reverse. This gave me a separate set of events that I could sync to the animation, scrubbing normally to the timeline to sync the forward events, and scrubbing in reverse to sync the backward events. To make this work, I created an RTPC in WISE that controls the voice volume of the forward and reverse actor mixer object. If the RTPC value is 1, it mutes the reverse object and brings up the forward object. If the value is negative 1, it does the opposite. Finally, to hook it up in Unity, I created a behavior script for the animator that uses the onStateEnter method to change the value of the RTPC when the boss switches directions, so we only hear the correctly synchronized sounds. The other sound effects for the boss were implemented either via C Sharp, again with the akSoundEngine.postEvent function, or using the AK event component to post an event on start on the various prefabs the boss spawns for its visual effects. All of the boss's sound effects are spatialized to either the boss game object or to the prefabs it spawns. I ended up using five different spatialization curves a general one that worked for most of the sounds, with four other curves for sounds that needed some extra attention to detail to work better in the environment. For the laser shooting attack, besides the initial sound effect for firing the projectile, I designed a looping sound that spatializes to the projectile itself to heighten the sense of danger as it flies by the player. To add an extra sense of urgency, I created an RTPC bound to the distance built-in parameter that controls the pitch of the sound, creating a quasi-Doppler effect as the sound pitches up when approaching the listener and pitches down as it moves away. Yeah. 
Since this is a rather complex boss fight, my top priority when mixing everything was to make sure the sound effects for the boss attacks, as well as for charging the attacks, were coming off clear in the mix. To achieve this, I set up the auto-ducking on the boss attacks bus to duck both the ambience and the player foley bus, clearing up space in the mix to give the player the feedback they need to navigate the fight. Mixing-wise, I also set up an aux bus with a reverb to make it sound like all sounds are inhabiting the same physical space. On top of that, for the boss sounds, I added an extra reverb send from each actor mixer object and tied the user-defined send volume to the specialization curves, making it so when the player dies and respawns at the beginning of the level, the boss sounds further away, heightening the sense of scale for the scene. Thank you for watching through the end. I hope this video clearly demonstrated how I use the tools WISE has to offer to help solve problems and enhance the game feel through sound design.